Our one day special of wintry air is on the way. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci and part of the transition from the fall weather to the wintry weather were a couple of showers that passed through the area earlier today. And the key word on this is a couple because we look at our rainfall totals across the region. The only place I saw measurable rainfall is was in Deerfield Township, Philadelphia recorded a trace. As we go forward in time, we are anticipating us to stay dry here. Yes, there's a couple of showers that the model is showing up around our area, but I believe for the most part, it's going to be in the water and not over land here and otherwise we are just dealing with a clear night here in South Jersey. Now temperatures will be falling. We are in the mid 40s in Atlantic City and in Cape May at 7 o'clock this evening. But well, look at all of this cold air to our north and west. This will be moving in with those northwesterly winds overnight sending that 32 degree line which are those blues right to the shore or at least very close to it and giving us our coldest night of the season. And with that comes the wind chills because we'll also have the strong winds too. So we'll be feeling like the 20s here in South Jersey for 7 a.m. on our Wednesday. 20 degrees in Hamilton, 22 in Estelle Manor, 23 in Ocean City. This is more than just winter jacket weather. This is winter jacket and maybe some gloves as well. This is as our jet stream dives well to the south here. And the jet stream is our river of air that separates cold air to the north, which is what we're going to see tomorrow, and warm air to the south, and in this case, to the south and west. This is what we'll eventually see for the weekend. Before tonight, we're talking about low temperatures, around 30 on the mainland, 35 over at the shore. Feeling like below freezing for most of the night here. And in fact, we should be in the 20s for most of the night. And there are resources available to you if you do need a warm place to sleep as we go into the day tomorrow and into Wednesday night as well. We have code blues in effect for Atlantic, Cape May, and, and Cumberland County. And you can go visit either the websites or you can call 211 for the latest information. As we go into our Wednesday, temperatures will be in the low to mid 40s everywhere. That's about a dozen degrees below average. And with this strong northwesterly wind, It'll be feeling like the 30s during the day on Wednesday. More of a day for mid-January rather than mid-November. Now, the warm-up does come. The jet stream does lift to the north, and as a result, we see a warming southwesterly wind. And if we look at our what-to-wear forecast, we're going from jacket and gloves tomorrow to jeans and a light jacket on Thursday, and eventually t-shirt weather for our Friday and Saturday. And here's why. We have high temperatures in the 60s for our Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here, all with a good amount of sunshine. I think we see the most sunshine on Friday. Friday, but still, even partly sunny is not that big of a deal. And then as we go over to the shore seven day, we remain in the 60s. And overnight, not bad to leave the windows open at the shore on Friday and Saturday. Eventually, as we get to Monday, we'll see a couple of showers. And then we'll go back down to reality with our temperatures as we go into Tuesday. We'll be back with you at 630 tomorrow morning, talking more about this cold air to come. And meanwhile, you can follow me on social media or you can subscribe to my newsletter, which comes out every day. You can do that at thepressofac.com slash weather.